Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Tuesday, December 13th, a weather savants video. A lot of thunderstorms, even snow across the entire central plain. So we are going to cover that and talk about uh, some interesting storm systems right down the road by the time we get into next week that we got to keep our eyes on. So at least stuff to talk about, which is great. Um, we are going to have quite a bit colder air, which is going to work in really starting from this storm system and kind of last, even though we'll have some ups and downs. But make sure you like, subscribe, and smash that little bell so you get notifications. Also, a huge shout out, Superior Roofing and Construction, Four State Premium Roofing Company. They're family owned and they're local, 7th and High Street in Joplin. Uh, give them a call. Numbers on the screen. I had them do my roof, uh, gosh, about a month ago. And um, yeah, they're pretty good. So make sure you give them a call, especially if you need your roof checked out. And especially when we keep getting storms like this. I, I did see that uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area had that tornado this morning, which is kind of crazy. To uh, I mean, you can get a tornado any time of the day, but to get that during the morning hours is a little bit atypical. All right, let's see what's going on right now. See the showers, thunderstorms continuing to push mainly on the Missouri and the Arkansas side. Let's take a little bit of a tour Let's go uh, up into the northern plains where they've had uh, blizzard-like conditions really from northeastern parts of Colorado, Nebraska, up through the Dakotas. You can see rain changing to snow in parts of Minnesota. So with these type of storm systems, you can see that twist, the upper level low, right across central parts of Nebraska. Once you get on the northwest side of the low, that's where the cold air is and that's where the snow likes to be and that's where it is from this system. Now, next time in the next cycle, when this storm system returns here in, um, oh, shy of a couple months, uh, what that's going to do is I think the snow will be much farther south uh, and could be a stripe right across Oklahoma, Arkansas, into Missouri. So we're going to keep our eyes on that. All right, let's go south because that's where all the severe weather has been. And still, you can see a tornado watch out across northeastern parts of Texas. Of course, Dallas-Fort Worth is taking kind of a strong hit today. But now the focus is going to be as the heating of the day. Uh, the bigger severe threat is going to be across parts of Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and western parts of Mississippi. And a pretty good tornado threat as we get down there. So again, we can project this system forward next time it occurs. That could also be a pretty big tornado threat for the southern parts of the plains. But uh, we'll keep our eyes on Louisiana, southern Arkansas, eastern Texas, and western parts of Mississippi for us today. All right, let's get a little bit closer look. Let's go into Arkansas. These are all just good showers and thunderstorms. You can see the lightning bolts of so heavy rain from Fort Smith up I-49 into Bentonville. We still have some pretty good rain across McDonald County into Barry County, some Monette, Aurora, Cassville, uh, Branson getting pretty good showers and thunderstorms. These extend north towards Springfield, right up I-44. Uh, Rolla, you're going to get quite a few showers and thunderstorms over the next two or three hours. Pretty good batches of rain through central parts of Missouri. And then it starts to lighten up a little bit once you get up toward Jeff City, Columbia, uh, Macon, Kurtzville, Quincy, Hannibal, those regions. But that's still where the rain is going on and will continue for the next uh, couple hours. For our immediate four-state area, most of this rain is going to be working out over the next hour to hour and a half. And then a little bit of sunshine. I'm even getting a little bit of sunshine popping out at my house, and that's what we're going to see. All right, let's go through time. Band of rain pushes east. So here's 630 of this evening, rain working out of St. Louis. West Plains, down through central Arkansas. Look at the clearing. Uh, we warm into the mid-50s to near 60 for most of us. We have these southwesterly winds. It's going to be windy today uh, through the afternoon, so watch out for that as the winds are going to be gusting at times, getting up there in that kind of 30-mile-per-hour range. And then you can see on the cold side, we got a little bit of snow back through north-central Kansas into southern parts of Nebraska. Let's go through the overnight hours tonight. Look how these clouds pop up. So here's tomorrow morning. So the next cycle, this is going to be an interesting factor because there's a little upper level wave that shoots through central Arkansas. And you can see some rain really from Fort Smith that will kind of move up toward West Plains. So we get some of these clouds late tonight into tomorrow morning, but I think that's going to be stripe of snow next time it comes around in the pattern. So that's something I want to watch. 
Uh, I, when we get to it, I'll bring it up. When we get to this system again, I'll say, remember that swarm system that we were talking about? All right, tomorrow afternoon, we get some clouds in here quite a bit cooler. Highs are only going to be into lower 40s. Let's go into Thursday. Look at the colder air. It just keeps getting colder. Overnight lows into the 20s. Uh, in and out of the clouds Thursday. Highs only upper 30s to near 40 degrees. So it is going to be quite a bit cooler as we go through the rest of the week. Let's jump down the road. Uh, we do have a storm system this weekend that shoots to our south. Really not a big deal. But I want to stop on Monday. So this is six days away. This does fit the pattern. Uh, when I look back... Let me take a look here. I have all the upper level maps of every single day. So let me go back to this system here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay. I know this is going to be hard to see. Right in the center of the country, we had this little upper level low last time this came around this is going to come right back around. So it's a weaker system, but it should have enough moisture to at least give us across Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Arkansas rain, possibly over to snow. So this is what we're going to really focus on. So this is kind of late next Monday into Tuesday chances for snow. So this is our first system that we have really good chances for a good accumulating snow. Uh, then let me keep going here because this is where it gets interesting. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, so let's, let me lower this here. We're gonna go to the GFS model because this has been, this is kind of what I'm watching. This is where it gets interesting. Remember, when, I, when we look at models, we have tons of models. None of them are correct. They give you an idea, but I use the pattern to figure out where the model is wrong. And I'm gonna show you where the model is wrong here. So this little wave right here, this is our wave next Monday into Tuesday. And then watch this. So as we get into Thursday and Friday of next week, look at this monster system that drops into the central plains. Now, this is incorrect. So you can see it, it drops through Kansas and Missouri. And I know this is backwards, but this system should, it should be a much deeper system into the western central plains. So I think this model is incorrect. But let me show you this. If I go back two runs, so let's go back to last night's run. Now it's a much deeper system the way it's supposed to be in the pattern. So I think it's going to look similar to this, which could produce quite a bit of snow across the central plains. And this is right before Christmas. So there's a lot to watch as we go through uh, the next uh, 10, 10 to 12 days all the way through Christmas. And then we have a couple systems right after Christmas as well. So of course, we're going to be talking about this the rest of this week and into next week. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, make sure you leave them in the comment section. I will answer them uh, tomorrow. I'll make sure we get back to a weather question of the day. But I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I'm in at KOM tonight. I'll be in tonight and tomorrow and then off again, trying to catch up on all the extra work that I did. Um, but I hope you're having a great day.